and welcome to my healthy app. My name is Roy. I am a home cook and amateur baker, and I am here on this channel, typically sharing recipes that have helped me to lose over 125 pounds, whether those recipes are mine or someone else's. Now, today is obviously not a recipe, but I have been getting a lot of questions from people who have just come over to Healthy or are still trying to figure out the app. So I figured I would do a video covering some of the basics of how to use the Healthy app, as well as some little tricks where you can alter the bites to match the WW Blue, Purple, and Green plans now that they've switched over to personal points. There are some people who miss having the colors and I'll show you how you can manipulate that as well. I have a feeling this may be a lengthy video. So what I'm going to do is put some little time codes down in the description box to break this up a little bit so that even if you've watched all the way through and then later you're like, wait a minute, what did he say I'm supposed to do to do this? You can just click on the time code and it'll take you to that subject. But since this is a basics tutorial, I figured I would go over the home screen here. And you can see this little icon up on the top left, at least on an Android phone. It's on the top left. I'm not sure about Apple. I do use an Android. Many of the things I'm going to cover will be basically the same. They just may be in different locations if you're using an Apple phone. So the first thing is that little icon up on the top left, and that is your profile. We are going to go into that in a little more depth in a moment, but just remember that is what that little picture is, and you can change that picture. I will show you that as well. Next comes the date. Typically, it would say today if it's for today. I actually wanted a clean slate here, so I jumped to tomorrow so that I'd have a clean slate so that it's easier to show you things. Now, if you want to change the date, all you have to do is drop down and you can see all the days of the week. You can scroll through and go back to some place that you wanted to revisit. Uh, go forward. If you know that you're going to be eating a certain thing on a certain date, you can go ahead and pre-track that. But I'm going to close that back up. Now next to that is the little microphone. And what you can do there is instead of typing something out, you can say it. Such as unsweetened almond milk. And it'll come up with the basics. Now, this is not the correct number of bites for my plan. I am on the better balance plan and I'm not sure how they come up with that. They don't seem to recognize the plan you're on for some reason. Um, but what you can do is you hit this replace and you'll see in here you have other choices for almond milk. Now the one I generally use is Almond Breeze, and I can tap that and then track that. So you don't have to go with what they show you here. See here it's showing it's two bites, but it should be one bite for the Better Balance plan. So just if it comes up with the wrong item, just hit replace and it'll give you a list of other things that may fit better into what you were looking for. So now back to the home page up here on the top right, at least on Android, as I said, is the scanner. And that's where you would tap. And you get this little grid where you would scan your barcodes. If the scanner is not reading correctly, occasionally I will get it so that it's blurry and it doesn't seem to want to focus. Then I would just back out and come back in and that usually clears it. Now you'll notice 
up on the top right here, there is a little lightning bolt. If you click that on, what that is going to do is just give you a light source in case you're in a dark area and it's giving you difficulty reading the UPC. Then you have a light source available to you and then you can just tap that off to turn off the light. If for some reason your UPC code is too small or what have you, you can tap down here where the numbers are and that will let you manually input all of the numbers then you will just hit confirm and it'll come up with whatever that number is associated with for some reason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I guess it was, comes up as coffee cream. But if it's not scanning for some reason, you just go down there and tap and enter the number manually. Next is your activity earned. And you can see mine is zero. Mine is typically zero because I have difficulty with exercise because of my neuropathy and myopathy. But if you tap that, you can instantly go to tracking an activity. If you tap track activity, it'll come up with a list here. And let's say I did some aqua jogging. Gonna tap that. If I did 30 minutes, that's the duration that comes up automatically, that would give me nine bytes. Let's say I did 10 minutes. That would give me three bytes. So you can go in there and enter and I will cover the activity bytes a little bit more. This shows your average. I have 0.4 now that I've put that in. You can also see over here on the Android phone, it has the ability to connect your Fitbit to track steps. I assume on Apple, it would let you connect your Apple Watch. That is my guess, but I do not know for certain. Okay, next to that is your daily bytes. Mine, I get 28 daily. It has a little arc. Starts at zero, goes to 28. And then if you go over, it will start going back in the opposite direction and subtracting from your weeklies or your activities. And again, I, as I said, we'll go over that shortly. Next to that shows your weeklies, how many are remaining. If you tap that, it'll tell you what you generally use for bites for different meals, different days, etc. Underneath that is on my app is calories. I've chosen as a secondary metric calories. Now to have a secondary metric, you need to be doing the pro plan. You need to have paid the yearly subscription, which is generally around $30. They usually say it's $59.99, but it's almost always half price from what I've seen. And there are sometimes even that it's like $19.99. And that is for the year. So it is a great savings. The other alternative to calories is macros. So if you prefer checking your macros, you can use that as a secondary metric. I've chosen calories, but again, I will show you how we will be able to change that shortly. Next come the meals of the day. You have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. As you add things in for the day, let me show you on today's date. You can see under breakfast, I have my the items I have had for breakfast. I have my lunch items so far. I have not had dinner yet or a snack, but that shows the foods that you have put under each meal for tracking. Let me go back to today or yesterday or tomorrow rather. There's your activities where you could tap down here, the plus sign and add in an activity that you are doing. And down here, we have something called health checks, and it says zero out of 23. If you tap that plus sign, you'll see it gives you the date, then it gives you water, fruits and veggies, dairy, lean protein, oil, whole grains, and multivitamins. This is just if you want to make sure that you're getting enough water or veggies or fruits or etc. You can start counting, okay, I've had two glasses of water. I've had three servings of fruits and veggies. I've had a lean protein today. I've had a dairy. So that way, if you want to 
make sure that you're getting enough of something, you can just use this as a guide. I never use it personally, and you cannot change it. Like if you wanted to have more water or more dairy or what have you, you could not alter what they give you here. But it is a great resource if you do want to make sure you at least get six glasses of water or five fruits and veggies, etc. Then down here is the weight. And if you hit the plus, it'll show you today's date, what your weight is. It shows how many pounds there's been in a change from one week to the next. It will show you your total lost. And this is where you would track your weight. So what you would do is tap the amount where it says your weight. And then you have this little scroll where you can scroll through and see what you have input. And let's say I went to 176.1. I can hit track. It says you are about to track your weight for a date in the future. Me, because I chose tomorrow's date. So I'm just going to say track anyway. Now it says your allowance will be updated depending on your weight. And for each 10 pounds or so that you've lost, you will lose a bite. Basically like it was with WW where you start off with a higher number of bites or points. And as you lose weight, that number goes down so that you can keep losing or maintaining. Congratulations, you've hit your weight goal. And then you will see that it shows that now the weight loss has changed. The weight for the weekly loss has changed. But I am going to put that back where it was so I don't mess myself up. Down here, you can hit add note. And that's just a place if you want to remember the bites of something or if you want to make a note of something, you can just type in whatever you want and save it as a little note. I personally never use that feature, but you can. And also down here at the bottom is a progress tracker. So it can show you your weight trends, your food trends, your activity trends by the week, by the month, by the quarter, by the year, or by all. And up here you'll notice that little person with a plus sign. And if you tap that, it takes you to inviting friends and gives you more options, which is just how you want to Try to notify friends, hey, join the Healthy app it with me. And it's going to allow access, Healthy to access your contacts. And if you want to do that, you can. I don't do that generally, but that is your call. And then this plus sign over here allows you to track weight, food, or activity. But you can do all of that from the home screen, so I never come in here and do it. But if you happen to see that something was incorrect, you could correct it there. Now down at the very bottom, you'll see that currently we are on the tracker page or the home page that is highlighted in blue. If we go to meal plans, that will highlight to blue. And this is a great resource if you are not sure what to make, you're not sure what foods would fit into your program. This is a great way of finding some meal plans that can help get you through the week, even if it's just the work week. And it'll give you day one what the foods are that they are recommending and how many bites it would be. So if I hit use this plan and then it would show you on the calendar which day do you want to start. And since it's a five day, it's going to count five days from that. So it is counting today's actual date, which is the 19th. But say I wanted to do it start May 3rd, it would switch over and it highlights the five days. But say I want to start it on a Monday. I'll tap that and it shifts everything over. Then you hit start. And now you're going to be following that meal plan. You can get a grocery list for it. So, I mean, that's a great way of getting recommended meals, getting recipes, things like that. It definitely would be a big help. They have vegetarian, seven ingredient or less. They have all sorts of different options that you can look through and see if you find a meal plan that works for you. But if you go up here to the top, one says browse meal plans. This says your meal plan. If I tap that, it's going to go to the one that I chose, the five-day basic. And it shows me down here, 
I am starting that Monday, May 2nd, and that's how many, 25 bytes is what it will take up. But if I decide to change my mind, don't want to use it, want to switch to something else, you would tap these three dots over here, and you can either edit the meal plan or stop using the plan. Since I'm not planning on using the plan, I'm going to stop using the plan, and that takes it out of my calendar, and now you no longer see the browse meal plans versus your meal plan. It only shows browse. But that's a great resource if you're not sure what to make, what's going to fit into your bites. That's a great way of getting some structure to help you along, especially in the beginning. Now, the plus sign here in the center, the big green circle, that is for adding foods and things like that. We will go over that later. The next item is recipes. So you can go here if you want to try to find something. And up top, it gives you all sorts of types of meals, appetizers, sides, beverage, salad, snack, soup, main course. It also lets you do filters by dietary needs, keto, vegetarian, vegan, Whole30, paleo, pescatarian, allergies, if there are any allergies, dairy, gluten, peanut, soy, shellfish, and the type of cuisine that you want to try. Do you want, you want some Thai? Do you want some Mexican? What about Caribbean? You can apply different filters to the recipes that you were finding. So if you did pick a dietary and an allergy, say, it would go to recipes that support those choices. I did mention this in my recipe builder video where I show how to use the recipe builder. And if you have not seen that, I will insert a card here so that you can find that one. But you will not find any recipes that you have input here. That is located elsewhere, and I will show you that even though I did show it in the recipe builder video. But this is only for recipes that come from healthy. But up at the top, you can search for recipes. You say that you want something with chicken. Say you want something with fettuccine, what have you. You can easily search for recipes. Now, this last tab down at the bottom is community. You tap that, and this is kind of like the community board where you can join groups, you can follow meal plans, you can sh share fitness ideas, you can check your Fitbit, you can connect with Healthy. It'll show you when member meetings are coming up. Um, and this is where you kind of socialize. I don't use this often. I am part of groups that I will sometimes see on occasion. See if you go into groups, it'll give you options. If you have 100 plus pounds to lose, you can join for support, meal preppers, runners, walkers. They have different ages, different foods, different activities. There's all sorts of groups. These are the groups that I am part of right here. Resources, Crock-Pot, Air Fryer, Newbies. I'm not a newbie anymore, but I was. Um, Prime Timers. Pretty soon I'm going to have to change this one because I'll be 60 in December. And then Better Balance, which is the plan that I am on. So you can search through here. If you feel like you want some extra support, you want to be able to ask questions, that is a great resource. I did use it early on. I no longer really use the community board, which is why you see there are a hundred notifications, probably more because I don't really check it that often. But up here, if you do want to share something, you can see up top, it says share with us and you can share a photo, a video, before and after pictures. You can write in whatever you want as a message and then hit next. And then it'll say, what category does this fit into? Is it a recipe, a success story, motivation, yada, yada. You'll select one of those and then post. Again, like I said, I don't often use that any longer. Now back to the tracker. And we're going to go back up to the top with the little icon there for my profile. Now, this is where you can make a lot of changes. So I'm going to tap that little image of myself. And it'll take you right here to your profile page. It shows your icon there. It shows the plan that you are on. Next to my name, it does show that I am a pro member. My weight goal is maintaining. 
I'm in my 50s. I'm male, following two people, five followers, six groups. My progress, my milestones down here will have any posts that you may have shared and any responses that you get to those. So you don't have to go back to the community page and try to find where your post is. I mean, it will be under notifications, but for me, this is much easier than going there. It's just checking the profile. So now from here to make any sort of changes, you hit this little gear symbol, which is always the symbol for settings. You tap that and it's going to give you a whole bunch of settings. Again, next to it, it shows that person with a plus sign. If you see that, that again just means you want to invite some friends to the app or to link up with you. Under preferences, you'll see my profile is the first one. And here's where you can change anything that is in your profile, your birthday, your height, if you happen to shrink. Um, you can change your username, your about, you can change maintaining goal weight. You can change it to whatever you want. That way people, if they are in the community, will see where you are at. It'll have your email, your gender, your birthday, your height. And at the bottom, it says show progress on my public profile. If you don't want people to see your progress, you want to keep that to yourself. You just mark it so that it's grayed out. If you don't mind having it shown, you mark it so that it's blue. I believe it might automatically be set that way. I don't remember setting it myself, um, but I may have. You can also hit log out, but I never log out of the app. Up here where your little icon is, you can hit the photograph and you can take any picture that you want any media to add as your profile picture. So that's how you would change your profile picture. And once you want to approve all of this, you would just hit save and it takes you right back to the settings page. Now, the next thing is weight loss plan. If you tap that, it shows the first thing is weight loss plan that you are on. I am on better balance, but tap that and it'll show you all the different options. You have six options. Better Balance, which is a pro plan. Keeping Keto, which is also pro. But then there are four that are free. Sugar Smart, Conquer Cravings, Carb Conscious, and Calorie Command. And each one underneath tells you what the focus is. Sugar Smart helps you focus on limiting sugar. And it's based on calories, saturated fat, sugar, and protein. Conquer Cravings helps you with portion control. Carb Conscious focuses on limiting carbs. Calorie Command on accountability. Keto is appetite control and better balance is helps you focus on fresh, clean eating and gives you what it's based on. Now, if you were following the WW color plans and you were looking for something comparable, better balance is equivalent to the old WW blue plan and can be adapted as I will show you later to become more like the purple plan. Sugar Smart is basically the green plan and you can adjust things manually on all of these plans if you need to. And I will be showing you that in a bit. So if you decide you want to change your plan, this is where you would come. You would say, okay, I think I'm going to switch over to keto. Tap keto and now you can see it went back to the weight loss plan and now it shows me as keeping keto. But I do not want to be keeping keto. I want my better balance back. So now the next item is carry over and you see this little I next to it. That just means that if you tap that I, it'll give you more info. But what this is, is it allows you to roll over up to four unused points from your daily to your weekly. And these points are reset each week based on your start day. So my start day is Sunday. So if I've accumulated, say, 54 weeklies, once Sunday hits, that 54 is gone and I'm back to my normal weekly amount. If you don't want your unused daily bites to be carried over, you just gray it out by tapping that little button. But I always carry mine over even though I really don't ever use them if they carry over typically. Okay, so here you will see activity level. Mine is set to sedentary because of my neuropathy and myopathy. I can't 
really do a lot of exercise. But if you click there, you'll see you have sedentary, light, moderate, heavy, and extreme. This will only affect your daily bites if you are using Conquer Cravings. However, if you are using a secondary metric, it will also change that. So if you are using calories or macros, it will alter those based on your activity level. So that is something to consider when you are inputting this information. Now down here under that is fitness goal and you have the choice of maintain weight or lose weight. They do not give you an option to gain weight and some people I do know need to gain weight. So I'm not sure why they don't offer that, but those are your options and it's basically for them to realize, okay, they're still in a losing phase. Let's drop the bites. They're maintaining, let's keep the bites here, etc. Next is your goal weight. And again, we have this little wheel where we can change our goal weight and set that. Starting weight, you probably won't change that since you started at what you started and that's not going to change. But if, say, you started again, you could input a new weight of where you're starting at the second time. Then it'll tell you your start date and for some reason, you can change that, which, I mean, you started when you started. So, don't know why it gives you the option to change it, but there you have it. Now, down here under that, you'll see daily allowance as a header. And then you'll see manual allowance. Now, this, if you wanted to change your plan, like, say you started with better balance as a base, as I said before, the... Better balance plan that I am on is equivalent to the old WW Blue plan and can be adjusted here through manipulating the bytes to represent the purple plan. If you were following the green plan, as I said before, you would want to follow Sugar Smart and then you could adjust if the bytes don't come up to what you are expecting, you can manually adjust those here. Like when I first started, for some reason, it gave me a lot more bytes than I had points on WW. So I had to change that. So what I did was you tap manual allowance. Now you see all the listings have darkened. They are no longer gray. If I tap this to gray again, you see they all gray out, meaning I can't touch them. But say I want to change my allowance, I would tap that and then you can come in here and hit daily and change whatever your daily allowance is to whatever you were used to on purple. You can do the same with your weekly allowance. If your weekly allowance was different, you can change that here. An activity allowance, I never touched that. I never really touched the macro allowance either, but you can change those. If, say, you needed to keep your carbs lower than 50%, you could change that here and then alter one of the other ones to fit with a hundred percent of your daily intake. But as I said, I don't usually play with those. But if you wanted to do any changes to the bytes to match one of the plans you were on on WW, this is how you would do it. So that is weight loss plan. Now reminders, you can have notifications for breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's basically just a reminder to, hey, did you track your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner? And you need a reminder for your weekly weigh-in. You can do a reminder at 8 a.m. on your weigh-in day. So those are all reminders. If you are not sure that you're going to be faithful with tracking, you can set these little reminders. Oh yeah, remind me, I always forget breakfast. Remind me to track my breakfast at 10 a.m. so that way I've eaten. And it's like, oh, okay, yes, I did, not, did forget to put that that in. I'm usually pretty good at tracking, but they are helpful if you tend to be forgetful. Next is settings, and here you can change how things show up for you. You can change under units. Do you want your weight in pounds, kilograms, or stone? So that's nice. Then your height in feet or centimeters or just inches. And then there are tracker options. The first one is next week starts. So you can choose what day of the week you want your week to start on. 
So you can change it, obviously, to any day of the week. I weigh in on Saturdays, so I choose Sunday as my new week starting. So next you will see extra allowance, and it gives you the option of weekly first, activity first, or manually redeem. So that way you can decide if weekly bites or activity bites are going to be used. You can deduct them yourself. You can let it do activity first, or you can let it do weekly first. Now I'm, I've chosen weekly first and activity allowance. You can allow it to be used weekly, daily, or do not use. So currently the only plan that uses them as daily bites is Conquer Cravings. So unless you're doing Conquer Cravings, I would go with either weekly or do not use. I do not use. I also don't usually accumulate any, but I always go with my weeklies. And you'll see once I change that from do not use, my extra allowance up here switched over to activity first. So I'm going to do the weekly and then I will save just so I can show you what it does over here. And you'll see I now have no activity remaining because I went over my bites on Monday and it had deducted from my weekly, but now that I have decided to deduct from my activity, it took it and went to zero. But I'm going to go back in, change that back to do not use and change it to weeklies first, save that. Now I'll go back. And you'll see now I have the activity bytes back, but I've lost weekly bytes. So if you want to use your activity bytes and you don't have to, um, that is where you would do it. Next, you'll see is a secondary metric. Minus it to calories. You can set it to none. You don't have to have a secondary metric. And again, this is only for the pro plan which is the paid subscription, but it goes calories or macros are your other options. I choose calories. Let me save that and go back in. Now this use decimals, if you tap that, what it's going to do is do all of your bites to the decimal point, that weird WW healthy math where you can have one for one bite but two is three bites. So it could be that something that you eat is 1.4 bites for one, but it'll round down to one because it's under 0.5. When you have two, it will bring it to 2.8. So then that rounds up to three. If you want to be more precise, you can tap use decimals, hit save, and I will show you now it's showing in my bites over here for breakfast, I use 3.1 bites and it'll break it down 1.5 for shelled walnuts, 1.2 for the Greek yogurt, 0.5 for toasted marshmallow creamer. So it will break it down more precisely if that is something that you think would help you out um, rather than having it round up or round down. Now the smart search, just all that is, is that it will let you search through all sorts of information on the healthy app. Like say that I input something that wasn't in the app. If you hit smart search, it will allow you to access that information that I've shared with the app, as well as the stuff that they basically have. So it just gives you a little more of an option when you're searching for something. And then privacy, you can opt out of any third-party services. Um, this can possibly reduce features, yada, yada. So that's just basically you don't want to have any third parties associated with it. I honestly haven't had any issues with that, so I don't worry about it, quite frankly. So now we're going to go back. Now here under sharing, you can see Fitbit and you can connect it. If you have an Apple phone, I'm assuming it would give you the option for your Apple Watch. Next is export logs, download detailed stats. So what you can do is click that 
You can hit a start date and an end date, go by week, month, or quarter, and say that you were going to the doctor's office and you wanted to get some information. You could set it up as sending it through Gmail, through Outlook. I don't know why PayPal is on there. That doesn't make any sense to me, but it is. But if you wanted to mail them to yourself, mail them to your doctor, um, that is one option that you could do. Then here's your help section, which is just like getting started. If you have any questions, if you want to know the community guidelines, you know, be polite, that kind of stuff. The help center, if you have any questions and you want to search, you can do that here. Email them. And again, it comes up with your options of mailing, again, PayPal for some reason. Restore purchases. If you purchased anything and then gotten rid of it by mistake, you can hit restore. I've never purchased anything extra, so I don't know what that would do. And then there's just legal information down here, privacy policy in terms of service. And as I promised early on in this long, long video, I am going to cover the little plus down at the bottom in the middle there. If you tap on that, you can add things in, such as activity, food, and checks. These are the same features that you found elsewhere. It's just a lot quicker for you to access them. Now, for some reason, it also lets you scan. I don't know why it does that here when it's right on the home page. It gives you a quick calculator. So if you just have to try to figure out the bytes of something and you have the other information, you can enter that all in here. And so let's say 300 calories and two saturated fats and three sugars and five proteins. Done. That gives us 10 bytes. Then we will put in the name. Everything else is optional from there. So you can put in burger, whatever it is, and then go to down to the arrow and hit track if you wanted to track that for the day. You can also add your weight in here. So as we showed before where you could get it from your profile, you can also do it as like a quick add here. There's also the voice feature. We've talked about that before because the microphone is on the home page. So again, not sure why they have this redundancy, but they do that a lot, which in some ways might be helpful because you can find it in different areas. It's not just going to be in one location and you have to kind of hunt for it. And then notes and then the zero bytes guide. So you can f access the zero bytes guide here and it'll show you all of the items on your plan that are zero bytes. And once you get to a certain point, you'll have to hit load more and wait for those to load up because it will be an extensive list depending on your plan. I'm on Better Balance, which has like over 200, I believe. Um, so it could take a while. So it might be easier to just search. The other way to get to the Zero Bytes Guide is just by tapping the food. And you can see up at the top, the first item is results. When you type something in, this will list your results. So let's say banana. And here come things with bananas. Some things will come up recent, especially the first one showing my misspelling of peanut. Um, but there's banana, the third item down. It also will go to just generic results. So it'll give you banana, a six ounce banana. So you can do it by weight. It'll do if you're doing mashed banana, you can do it by cups. It'll give you generic banana bread, banana bread with nuts, banana pudding, etc. Now, one thing I did want to mention is these little green check marks show that these items and their values have been confirmed by Healthy. If it does not have a check mark, often what it is is something that someone else has input and submitted to them. 
and such as down here, these are things that other people have put in or that haven't been verified by Healthy. So if you want to make sure that the nutrition facts are correct, make sure it's got the green check mark next to it. Otherwise, I always double check um, when I scan something in a store if it doesn't come up with a green check mark. And sometimes even if it does, because manufacturers will often change their recipes. Like I mentioned in one of my videos, Fiber Gourmet has changed their production of their pasta. And now it's coming up as three bites instead of two bites because there's like a 10 calorie difference. Um, so things like that could happen and may not be put into the system right away. So I always just double check if it's something that I'm not too sure of. But usually if it's got the green check mark, that means Healthy has verified it. Here's, let me get rid of banana so we don't just have that come up. Um, here is zero bite foods. So you tap that. Again, the list of zero bite foods, just like you would have gotten from that previous screen. Then there are favorites. Now these are items that you have put a little heart on. And let me show you under these russet potatoes. I like to weigh mine by the grams so that it's more precise. So I keep that as a favorite. And if I tap that, you can see up top here, there's a blue heart. If I tap that, it's going to remove it from my favorites. So I will have to find it under my foods. If it's something I use often enough, I will save it as a favorite. So that way I have easier access to it rather than scrolling through or typing into my foods. And speaking of which, next one is my food. I went over this pretty thoroughly in my editing foods video. And what my foods are, are foods that you have edited. What I will do is if I've checked the nutrition facts and they are incorrect, I will input them correctly, save it, and it will list it as my food, something that I've put in. Or if it's coming up as something that's by the cup, by the teaspoon, by the tablespoon, but I want to weigh it, I will alter the way that I can do that. And that will be found here under my foods. I'm not going to go into detail in that here because I did do a video on it. And I will card that here so that you can find it. It'll also be listed down below as well the other healthy tutorials. Next one is recipes. And I did go over this in my recipe builder video, but this is where your recipes are going to be found. As I said before, your recipes are not going to be found on the recipe tab at the bottom of the main home screen. Your recipes are going to be found under recipes. So you can see that the very top thing says my recipes. And then you can scroll through. You see, I've quite a few recipes in there. And the next item is brands, and that will give you restaurants. So if you're going out to eat, you can find your restaurants here. It'll give you snacks, a list of snacks. And for some reason, beer has its own thing. So I guess it's pretty popular among healthy users, I guess. I don't know. But there is that option as well. So you can search through restaurants if you're going out. That way, if you know that you're going out somewhere with some friends, you can pre-check, say you're going to Applebee's. You can look through here and you can see what they have, what the bites would be, so that you're not worried about sitting there trying to figure everything out as your friends are sitting there placing their order. You can determine what you're going to eat before you even go. And you can even pre-track it. And it lists pretty much, I mean, if there are new items, they may not be in here and you'd have to adjust. But they, they are usually fairly extensive. And you can see up at the top, there are headings so that if you want to check that way, if you know that you're going for chicken. You can hit chicken. It'll give you the chicken options. And the lowest one there is the grilled chicken breast down at the bottom for 15 
bite. So you can check things before you go out. So that way you feel more comfortable going out to eat. You don't have to worry about what you're going to have. And you don't have to worry about feeling uncomfortable trying to scan things or find how many bites something is while you're at the restaurant with your friends or family. You can do that beforehand. Okay, and finally, yes, finally, one last little tidbit of information that you might find helpful. If you need to delete something, such as the aqua jogging that I did not do, what you will do is hold down on that activity or food. You can do the same with food. Now here you have three options. You can copy to the previous day. So say I forgot to add this to my app yesterday. I can copy to the previous day and that will copy it there. Or you can copy to the next day. If you know you're going to be busy tomorrow, but you want to get this in, you can hit copy to the next day. But what we're looking to do is delete to get rid of that. So just tap delete and it is gone. We have no activity earned. Okay, so that wraps up this tutorial covering the basics of the app. Hopefully I've covered any questions you may have had. And as I said, I will be putting timestamps down in the description box so that if you come back and you're like, wait, what did he say about the meal plans? It will say meal plans. You can tap that and go right to the section where I'm talking about meal plans, that kind of thing. So it will be linked down in the description box by subject so that it's easier for you to find if you need to go back and find something. But I hope that this was helpful to someone. And if it was, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet and you are looking for recipes that can help you on a weight loss journey. Hit the notification bell for the next time I upload any sort of video and share any of my videos if you think there's someone out there who would appreciate the content. Also comment down below if you have any other questions that I did not cover and I will try to find the answer for you. But that will wrap it up for this long, long video. So until next time, bye.